and thanks for joining us here on 90s plus i'm chris bianchi we wanted to celebrate this earth day by giving you a few ideas about how to celebrate as well and we have michelle subert with colorado parks and wildlife joining us today thanks so much for joining us here on 90s plus great it's glad to be here pleasure to have you well first of all i guess before we kind of get into some um specific ideas about how to celebrate earth day what from a broad perspective does Earth Day mean to you personally, and perhaps maybe a bit more broadly, uh, also to Colorado Parks and Wildlife? So I think when we um, think about Earth Day and celebrating Earth Day, it's really um, about being outside and giving back to the land. So looking for those projects that you can, you know, help in your local park, your local state park or city park, but just giving back and making it better for the next generation. Absolutely. And with that in mind, maybe a specific idea about how to give back on Earth Day. Uh, I know that Bar Lake State Park in Brighton is doing a hands-on uh, hands habitat uh, volunteer pollinator garden planting project this upcoming Saturday, April the 23rd. Um, can you tell us a bit more about that and what that involves? So one of our partners, um, Pheasants Forever, is helping us with our pollinator garden. Seeding some grasses, native grasses, some to um, you know, improve the habitat for bees and butterflies and just all the wildlife. And so it's just a great way to give back. And I think what's important, you know, we see a lot of families that come out for events like this and then they come back and they wanna take care of those plants and, and see them grow. So there's lots of activities all around the state that you can be a part of and, and make a difference. Absolutely. And one of those that kind of comes to mind is that I recently saw that Bar Lake is a leave no trace gold standard park. Um, I've seen that signage in a few of the state parks. What does that mean, a leave no trace gold standard park? And uh, how that, does that potentially apply here to Earth Day? So sure, so we became a gold standard park last year. We're the third in Colorado and then the 13th in the United States. And so what that means is that we really put those leave no trace principles um, to work. So teaching people what that means. So for instance, know before you go, know the, re the rules and regulations, know that you need the proper shoes and water, or if you're going boating, you need to know the regulations and have your life jacket. Um, another one is to respect wildlife. So there's these rules that we put into place, whether it's signage or programs or just the education to the public. And it's just a way that we can take care of our great outdoors because, you know, especially over the last two years in the pandemic, very a lot of people discovered the outdoors, which is great. As a park ranger, we love to see people enjoying the outdoors. We just want to make sure that we're taking care of the outdoors. Absolutely. And with that in mind, I guess, are there any other final thoughts about how to celebrate Earth Day with CPW or just in general? Yeah, I think, you know, there's 42 state parks, there's city parks, there's county parks, just go and enjoy nature. You know, Colorado is, is known for the outdoor opportunities, whether you want to go on a hike, birding, archery, um, be on the water, just be outside and enjoy, enjoy what Colorado is known for. Absolutely. Lots of different tips, ways to enjoy Earth Day in our beautiful state here. As you mentioned, 42 state parks. And uh, a lot of this, of course, under the jurisdiction of Colorado Parks and Wildlife. And Michelle, we really appreciate a few minutes of your time here on 9 News Plus for giving us an idea about how to celebrate and also how to take care of our beloved state and our beloved parks. So thank you so much for joining us here.